All right. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Descending order. You're going first, Lost Soul. So you have first choice. You're being chased by a bear from where you were, and you heard this donkey kind of to the south. You know, there's a path down there because it's kind of, kind of the same path you've been watching, even though you might have been just traveling off the path. To, I'm not sure. Staying in the shadows. Staying in the shadows. But yeah, you go ahead. You can do your 30 feet. All right, give me a perception. Sure. Give me a perception okay. check. Total 15. All right, you see... Everybody. Something. You see something. You actually see two somethings. Two somethings. What? And uh, one is has his back to you. One has his back to you, and one is looking. Uh, God dang it! I'm on the wrong thing. There we go. This guy has his back to you, and he's over here by the path. Kind of just looking this ish direction. And this guy's a little further up the path right here. He's holding out a uh, bow. Like a bow. And he's notching like another arrow into his bow. And as you look down with the 15, you can also see the donkey uh, now kind of just like. Kind of trying to back itself up on this bridge with an arrow sticking out of his chest. And you kind of can see the vague form of a figure sitting on a cart, but uh, that's kind of all you can see. Um, you have uh, an action and potential bonus actions to use. I don't have any bonus actions, technically. Correct. Uh, but and... like, you could always say, like, I want to do this minor thing that's not a full action, and I'll, I'll sure. determine whether or not that could be a bonus action. That you could use sure. so uh you also know that there is a bear chasing you i need to figure out okay. where my bear icon is so i can throw <laughs> one down there um, i mean you could check the market area yeah i'm there. looking i'm looking go okay. ahead though what would you like to so do? i have an action still yep yeah you just ran right you ran 30 feet so you still have an yep. action i want to uh, use that goblin right there as a meat shield so i'll use my action as uh, for a dash, I guess. Come on, bear. Why is the bear not appearing? There are three oh. bears after now. There are three bears now. Wait, it's where? A lot I don't a see them. Of bears has appeared. I don't see them. Okay. Well, we can see them. Lost socks in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so you're dashing? You're dashing? Yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. Cool, man. Uh, that's good. This goblin, uh, I mean, you're right next to it, but uh, it kind of just at, at the last second kind of like, turns around and notices you right there. Like, what the hell? I like, got out of the corner of its eye. Um, the bears, I can't, I can't see the bears, so I don't know what to do. I can't control them. I can't, can't see them. Are they switching layers? Yeah, I guess. All right. Map and background. Because they might be on map layer. No, they're... They should be there. It's interesting. Um, Why are they eating grass? Anyway, the bear moves up. Uh, it's going to move... It can move up to 40 feet. So I'm guessing it can get to... Shoot. Shoot, man. Shoot. I can't... There, can't my it. blue box will serve as the bear. Okay, so in that case... It walks up to the goblin <laughs> and attacks. <laughs> uh, it got a natural 20 for claws. Uh, it misses with its bite attack, but then it rolls double damage on this. Which is. Seven. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. That happened. Good job, Basil. Good job. Um, or should I say Urshire? But yeah, so now that this bear looks up at you with kind of like a bloody goblin arm sticking out of its mouth and just growls. I give it a thumbs up. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, next up, 
uh, Zam Zambatorian, you're up. Okay. Uh, I want to get on some solid ground because I'm on the wobbly surface. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can easily just kind of hop so, off the cart. Um, this bit here next to that, you know, I put myself there. Is this below the bridge or is it the same level as the bridge? It's, uh, it's the same level, but you do have, like, it's almost like the railing comes up to your, maybe like your thighs. Okay. And as you do that, the donkey will back up. Like, he finally oh, gets the cart to back up a bit. Five feet, that's nothing. Yeah. I may as well go Eldritch Blocks on this. Sweet. Annoying little thing over here. Yeah, you see you see this goblin with a bow at this point, And he, like, is just not just there. And he pulls it back. As he sees you jump off, he kind of, like, levels it at you. But you get your... You get off. You get your blast off first. So, uh, how does this work? One action, 120 feet, instant. You make a ranged spell attack. So, um, roll a d20 and add your spell attack modifier. Uh, actually, no. I think you go to your spells. Your spells. I'm on my spells at the moment. So yeah, click, click, click Eldritch Blast. Oh, I guess we haven't set it up to do the thing. That's what did that. Just roll a. Uh, just roll a d20. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was a spell. And then we're going to plus five, because that's your spell attack bonus. So, yeah, you're going to hit this goblin for sure. So, describe uh, describe your Eldritch Blast. Uh, I extend my arm, palm outwards. And the crackling beam of dark purple energy flies from one end of the bridge to the other. Yep. And uh, Di diagonally across and just smokes this goblin it. directly in the chest. Yeah. And it kind of, uh, yeah, spats it. Like a big custody lightning splat. Like <laughs> Perfect. <typical> custody lightning. <laughs> All right, roll damage, which is 1d10 force damage. 1d10. Nine damage. Nine damage. Just hits this goblin, which goes sailing back uh, into this rock. It just poof, hits up against it and rolls off to the ground on the other side of Lost Soul than the one that got torn apart by the bear. Okay. Rocco. Okay, I take this opportunity to uh, land in a... When I'm, as I'm doing this, I want to land in a cool superhero, you know, Deadpool pose. One knee to the ground with the other arm outstretched. You just kind of strike a pose. <laughs> oh, you got you got to strike a pose as you do your blast. <laughs> Sweet, yeah, man, it's perfect. All right, uh, Rocco, it's your turn. It is your turn. And okay. yeah, I'm going to continue coming towards them. I guess. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you are head like yeah. At the uh, last thing you heard was a donkey screaming. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> don't know how to do what? Move. Yeah. Uh, just you, drag. Yeah, you oh, just pick okay. up, uh, pick up, and drag it. There you go. I guess it's that right. About thirty. Yeah, but this is not working. Anybody see multiplying goblins? Yeah. yeah. God damn yeah, it! I think like I need to seven. leave and come back. I will. Uh, no, I'll just I'll just do this. I'll be right back. You know, it'll be fine. Just launch this game again. You know what I mean? Army of goblins and losses in the Champ middle of it all. Champion <laughs> quest. Perfect. Well, that's what I meant to do. Obviously. I don't mind attacking some breeding goblins. Yeah, and there's a drow in there. You guys should probably kill that too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Probably would. I was actually happy. <laughs> this is just something to think about. Uh, I'm not trying to get yeah, lost, killed, or anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to die from this bear. Oh, yeah, I see the bear now. Perfect. Okay. This is great. Uh, there's a lot of bears. How many bears can you see? Who put, all these, who put all these bears here. What the hell? Okay, there yeah, we go. What, what, what guy put all those there? What a nerd. 
Oh, what a nerd. Like well, there was one that was too cold, one that was too hot, and one that was just right. Okay, uh, so Rocco, you see these goblins like kind of jumping over these bridge and coming out of the bushes. Well, um, forty-five feet close enough to try to hit him with a not like all of them, or... but uh, this. Yeah, how? Okay, what's we... the range on a javelin? Uh, it should be written on your guy. On your weapon itself, but I'm not sure if it is, so I'm gonna look it up. Attack. No. Just an attack rating of plus three. Alright, let me see here. Good. 30 at 120. Oh, yeah, so what did we say, 45 feet? So it's, I guess yeah. it's at disadvantage, or? It's within range. Okay, then go for it. Roll this attack. Nice. All right, roll damage. Boom. Okay. Goblin just yeah. this guy here just takes a takes a javelin to the chest and goes down. Just where he stood. He basically just like tried to jump over that and got wrecked immediately. Yeah. That's one um, javelin down. This guy was toast to uh, I can't see the thing. Uh, you're dead. And this guy was dead, too. Can't see the thing, okay. so you're dead. They're all dead. Um, there is still more, though. I mean, you can see another one. There's still there's a bear, too. I mean, it looks angry. Tearing things apart. Uh, it's Goblin's turn, finally. As this one jumps out and starts running up. What, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? And it's going to level its bow at uh, at Mark and this guy's going to run out to here and level his bow at the I guess at the halfling okay cool so so far I've not been detected I like this you're like way in the back yeah uh, we got 16 and a 6 so the 16 is going to go against Mark I guess what's your AC I cannot remember one second I think it's only about 12, 12, 13, I guess. I can't remember. Uh, on the past 12. Alright, so it's going to be a hit. And I get 26 damage. 5 damage. As an arrow strikes you kind of like just in the shoulder. And. I think Another another arrow sails just over the halfling's head as he kind of ducks a little bit, and it goes flying by you two, Ace, as you see this arrow fly by, and you kind of watch it go and look in the directly into the sun and like your eyes burn for a second, and it's uh, your turn. How much damage is that going to take? Five. 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 I'm down to four. Yeah. Level, level one. Yeah, it's your turn. Head head. Okay. Um, so really quick, what, what are we doing to my thing? What? what some, something's popping up on my guy's thing. That's just me. That's just me. You just, no, you're, 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 never mind. Um, so I move up the bridge to see what's going on, right? Yeah, move your guy. You can go uh, up to 25 feet, I think. Sure, that would be... I move up here, right? Yep. That'll be 15. Yep. So go ahead and move up here to see what's going on. Um, do I have to roll a perception check? or? No, nah, no. Nah, you can see a goblin like like right in front of me. five feet no, in front I mean, of you. The other, the other stuff. like uh, uh, there's an, the Yeah, there, you can see all this stuff. Okay. So I proceed to attack the that goblin that's right in front of me, right? Sweet with which... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Do I want to hit? Um, let's hit him with axe of boy. All right, two-handed so do axe. Move do I got to move up in front of him like uh, this? Yeah, or? yeah, you got to be that close. I think. I don't think it's a reach up. All right, cool. And now I just click axe of boy, right? Yep. And then if it's a hit, that's a hit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a hit, definitely. So then you roll the damage by clicking Axe of Boy within the chat. Yep. 
Hey. Boom. Murdered. All right. Ex you know, you extinguish this goblin. How do you do it? <laughs> uh, cleave his head in, obviously. All right. Just axe directly up over your head, I, straight down onto his. I axe him a question. And he doesn't get to answer as he slumps to the yes. ground with an axe. And you just kind of like put your foot on his face and pull the axe out. And uh, <laughs> this other goblin sees this happen. And uh, just you see him, you see him just kind of piss himself a little bit. <laughs> okay. And we're back up to the lost soul as you see this bear in front of you uh, okay. with a goblin arm in his mouth. I'll move right here. Again, using this goblin. Uh, where were you? The... You were here, right? Oh, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to take the dodge action. Okay. And that's it. All right. Do uh, not turn the word attack. Okay. It's your turn to that. Me? Um, what happened to the bear? Oh yeah, the I forgot about the bear's turn. Um, all right, the bear's just gonna drag the goblin off. Seeing you run away, he sees like a bunch of stuff going on. There's like a lot of noise. This bear's just gonna drag this goblin off back to its cave. Uh, okay, now it's your turn, Sam. I really want to attack that bear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see yeah. this bear dragging a goblin corpse off. Yeah. In fact, I'm still tempted to. So before you fight me, away, I've got a range attack. Sure. Um. Well, as, as far as I'm concerned, this guy here is down for the count for a little while. And uh, he's this... dead. They're they're dead. That guy. That's the only one uh, alive. And somehow, like this drow's just stepped in front of it. Which yeah. where? Which way are you facing? Uh, me. Urshire? Currently. Um, I was like, facing towards the bear and okay. like sort of ducking every now and then. You're standing right next to a goblin? Yep. Alright. And, <laughs> and, and flipping it off. Right. I want to take another Eldritch Blast to the bear. I want to practice my, more, my range shots a bit. Alright. So. Roll that uh, uh, d20 plus 5. Uh, let me just see. I press. Yeah, I was, I was trying to find where the um, button was for that. I don't know how to make spells roll automatically, so just roll a d20. You can yeah, type in fine. slash r space one d20, or you just roll it off the thing. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, plus five, that's going to hit the bear. And I do a d10. Yep. Yeah. One D ten force damage. In an event to make sure that the bear does not come back, another arc of purple beam crosses that river <laughs> with a lovely, causing a lovely reflection, but also yeah, catching that bear square in the chest. Nice. The bear, you just see it get blasted by this purple energy and poof, like goes down. This goblin, like ragdoll body, like spins out of its mouth and flies off into a bush. Bear down. Bear's dead. Bear's dead. Just to make sure it's main problem. Well, also, uh, there's like a dagger that pings off of, out of the bear's <laughs> body and like rolls off as well. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally knock that thing loose. <clears throat> Find love. You see another dagger that looks very similar to that dagger <laughs> in the drow's hand. <laughs> and uh, the Rocco, uh, Grohl's turn. <laughs> I will just try to retrieve my uh, my javelin <laughs> that I threw. It's like uh, sticking out of. I think it's sticking out of this guy. This yep. <laughs> the ball one, yeah. I get to where the draw is, basically. All right. Just shoving people out of the way. <laughs> yeah, you just, everybody sees this half work guy kind of like, you know, like trudging over, kind of shoves, he makes, makes room on the bridge. Do I get an attack of our opportunity? Uh, well, I mean, anybody could, anybody that you pass could take an attack of opportunity on you, I suppose, if they wanted to. Uh, 
But yeah, as, I'm, I'm too angry. as you just got into range <laughs> with the goblin, <laughs> then you can you can basically get to here uh, if your distance is that far, anyways. Yeah, it's thirty feet. So you can get to there without taking any attacks of opportunity, unless okay. one of the players wants to take one on you. I mean, to us, it just seems like a random half orc just pops out of nowhere. The yeah, the halfling kind of like w- looks up at you as you walk by. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you can grab the javelin and take it. I'll say that's a bonus action, so like you still have an action. Uh, there's no more goblins left. Number bad. Uh, this so. guy's still here. He's still alive. He's uh, just sitting there oh, yeah. snarling at the drow right next to him. A, I'll take a swipe at him with my war axe, one handed. All right, sweet. Do it up. Nice. You hit. So roll damage. You just pull out the javelin, then you turn around and yep. slash down this guy. He's got like just a cut right across his face. He, he like takes one second. Well, like, you know, you cut yourself really deep and you just like takes a second to start bleeding. And then it just like starts gushing blood and he just screams. Uh, he's still alive though. And he's gonna like, he's just gonna take his daggers and just kind of jab them into your leg. Into like your calf basically. Uh, Ow. But the blood and the axe to the face was mighty distracting, and you just kind of like move your foot a little bit, and he misses and like kind of almost stumbles over. And now it's uh, our potato dwarf's turn. Okay, so I move up here. All right, I can move there to take care of the goblin, right? Yep. Pulling through the All right. ground. And I go. That work that just popped out nowhere. And I move to attack with my hand axe melee. Do it. That's a hit. Alright. That ties his AC. But that's a hit. And it goes down. Takes another slash the other way across his face and just goes down into the ground. Alright, cool. And everything goes silent for a second. And then you hear that. <laughs> then you hear that. Who did that? Dork. <laughs> oh my god. And that's it. All the goblins are down. The bears are even down. And it just returns to the sound of just the I, forest. I quickly go up to the bear, grab my dagger, start to get it. Nice. All right. All right. Can I um, rummage through the uh, or loot the corpses from your spare? You sure can. Roll an investigation check. And Loss will roll a survival Survival? check. Probably survival. Yep. Mm -hmm. I only want the weapons. Investigation. Not too bad. Very average. Ooh. All right. Did you do kind of like a quick hack job of this bear? Um, not a great pelt. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just it's all covered in honey and and blood and kind of like a bunch of holes in it. But it's just you know you just you need. You need better I, I equipment. You need, you need better equipment. It's not going to fetch like a great price, but if you get it, it'll be a bit of work before it's ready to be sold. Uh, if that's what you're looking to do with it. I mean, I could just cut it into smaller squares so it looks neat and do the uh, scraps. Fair enough. I'm just saying it'll take a bit of work to get it fully prepared uh, for the merchant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Mark, you find the equivalent of. Let's see. Oh, a decent amount of gold. You find like five gold pieces, the equivalent of five gold pieces in like uh, coppers and silvers and gold. Uh, so just write five gold down. Um, and there's an assortment of daggers and such that the goblins are holding daggers and a small short sword and a couple of bows with like kind of shitty goblin arrows. If anybody is interested in taking that stuff. I want the dead. Search the goblin that's by me. Yep, you find. Uh, let's see, you find. 
Man, decent rolls. Uh, like six silver. Okay. On that goblin. He's got a dagger as well. Um, and How many daggers do I get? Uh, let's... Oops, sorry. Five, five daggers. Three. Five daggers. You wanted to keep the daggers? I want to keep the daggers. Okay. I'm so, putting them in my... Wait, I'm in six silver? Alright. Um, I'm just touching the daggers. Silver's what lost? Uh, from the goblin. Five silver, right? Five. Okay. And a single dagger. Oh, cops are coming. I'll place that into the police. <laughs> they haven't caught me yet, so that's all it means. All right. So that's a total of six daggers then. Mm-hmm. Six daggers from goblins in total, if we communally share it. If anyone wants daggers, I have. Does Dragon. anyone want daggers? The Dragonborn yeah, offers take... daggers to you guys. <laughs> take some. I have no need. <laughs> who, who wanted some? Ace. Or hat hat, sorry. I mean, hat. I'm all the way over here. 